and I wanted to show my journey. Yeah. You know? Yeah. From that white little fella. That white little fella. That white little fella, you know, that actually getting heels, you know? <laughs> no, not random zoo, you mean? Yeah, no, you still, you're still with random zoo? No, no, no. No. You were talking about that. Strictly me. Never again. Never again. Never again. Now we're going to sit in his brother. Yeah. Master mythologist in the house, yeah. Tyrone Benjamin. Extreme. And he is going to create a cocktail for us just to get things started on the show. I am excited about this. Carnival to Banker Cocktails brought you, could see the folks at Evan Williams, a new Kentucky. Evan Williams, yes. Evan. Same thing, it's same thing. Yeah. I love it. Brother, thanks for being on the show. Yes. You know he's bumps up, but in this platform, I'm going to actually create a drink for you. And I, I thought about this. You know what's the name of the drink? Sunshine and wine. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. I hope you like grapefruit. Because there, there's the sunshine. <laughs> I like it. There's the sunshine and yeah. there's the wine, right? Yeah. And then we have yes. this that is looks actually like, that looks like sunshine. Yeah, sunshine and wine. The wine yeah. color from the pomegranate. Yeah, that's very right. Um, a red woman kind of one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a nice kind of dark red, you know what I mean? It's a little dark. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> but I want to highlight this as well, right? This is a, a Kentucky bourbon. So the first part of this process is I'm going to get the fresh pomegranate, right? This is something I could have do beforehand, but I like to use ingredients yeah. fresh on the spot. It actually makes a big difference in the cocktail. We used to call this a modeler, but now we're using it like a little mallet. So basically the seeds you want out of the right? Yes, yes. Right, so I'll go and take this now. That's what we're talking about. So we have the fresh pomegranate inside our mixing glass. And what we're gonna do behind now, we're gonna model this a bit. All right, there's a technique in mixology where we call modeling. So where, where you would press out the ingredients, in this case is a pomegranate, and we're trying to get the juice out from the seeds. Yes, correct. But this fresh process is a, it makes a whole difference if you do this beforehand. If, yeah, you know, it actually has a different impact in the drink. So we're using this Kentucky bourbon. And I love using this because this has a, a flavor. It's very potent. It's beautiful. It has a nice golden and it actually picks up the, that color from the barrels. Remember, this is aged in barrels, right? So the longer it's aged, the darker the spirit actually gets. Yeah. And behind that, I have some pomegranate freshly in it, but I'm gonna add some pomerac syrup, our local pomerac syrup, right? Okay, remember this, this drink is called sunshine and wine, eh? Yeah, man. <laughs> so we have the pomerac in it, and behind that, there's the sunshine, fresh grapefruit. There's absolutely one of my favorite citrus to use, some like orange, some like lemon. I like this fruit. I hope you like it too. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> so we're going with two ounces of fresh grapefruit. And this will be the citrus and the sour element to the cocktail. Right? So the, the pomara was the sweet, and you have a sour, you have your strong, and you have your weak, which is either ice or right? That's a little concept. So I'm gonna actually add the ice right now. Yes, bro. I love this song. It has some lines in that. It's very controversial song. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's very controversial. Yeah. Very relevant too, you know what I mean? It's relevant. It's very relevant. <laughs> so, there's my little shake here. I call this shake the Trini shake, right? And what this actually does, it dilutes the drink. It mixes all the ingredients that I just added, and it gives you a little aeration. You see the bubbles here? And it, and it chill. Chill as well, right? So, you have a lot of things going on here. So I had my glasses chilling beforehand. All right, it's nice and frosty. And to this, so this drink serves with a little ice. So the reason I chill the glass is so the drink will actually stay longer, 
stay chilled longer, yeah? I'm just gonna add two pieces of ice still and I'm gonna double strain now where I take my Hawthorne strainer and my fine strainer. Don't see it, Correct, yes. Nice. Try this, learn from you now, just learn from you. So on top of that, I'm gonna add a little citrus bitters that we make fresh on the bar body show. And I'm using it right here on Copper Joe, all right? All right, buddy, so I'll go in behind. It's a simple garnish. And I just wanna get a wedge of fresh cream. Sexy. Yeah. Is that a piece of the sunshine there too, man? Of course, there's the sunshine right here. Oh, My brother, hey, you hey, guys hey, enjoy. Hey. Look at that. Look at that. Sunshine at that. and Boy, wine. Cheers. Cheers, my brother. Cheers, my Thank brother. So much time. Of course, hey. pleasure. Jo Joel done whining already. <laughs> yeah. This should be the new drink. This is definitely representing the Caribbean. Yeah. This is our when it comes to the Caribbean, uh, sunshine and wine. I think this is what we need to offer them at the Piaco. <laughs> that is welcome drink. Yes, of course. Yeah. Of course. This is good. This is drink. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Master mixologist Tyrone Benjamin, ladies and gentlemen. When we come back. I roll out the recipe. I want to thank the folks at Evan Williams for making this one possible. Sunshine. And wine. Thank you, Evan Williams. <laughs> Carnival to Banker Cocktails is brought to you by Evan Williams.